Good evening, everyone. We begin tonight with a troubling story about a local woman whose life has been turned upside down. She says her boyfriend knowingly gave her HIV and never told her he was infected. Tonight, there's a warrant out for his arrest. Local 12's Angela Ingram sat down with that woman in a story you'll see only on Local 12. Angela? Rob, someone went from the health department to this woman's house to tell her in person that she was diagnosed with HIV. And it took a lot of courage for her to come forward with her story. But she says she felt compelled to because she had to warn others. Emilio Benyard seemed like a nice enough guy. A woman who asked us not to show her face met him at church in 2006. And last year, the two started dating. Throughout the years, he always would flirt, do little things, say little things. So last year, May, um, I decided to give him a chance. The victim dated Benyard for several months. Then she started feeling sick in October of last year. They told me I had viral bronchitis. That wasn't the case. Um, December, I went back to the doctor to get tested for problems with my back, and my doctor retested me for something. I told her, well, since you have to draw blood, go ahead and test for STDs. She was tested at the Price Hill Health Center. She's also been to UC Health Homes Hospital, and then she got the diagnosis that no one wants to hear. And then they said they could send somebody to my house, and that's when they came out and told me that I was HIV positive. Police charged Benyard with felonious assault and there's a warrant out for his arrest. He's known to frequent several neighborhoods in the city, including Price Hill and over the Rhine. Police also charged Benyard for having sex with another woman without telling her he has HIV. That case was ignored because the victim didn't go to court. He's just messing up people's lives. The women who thought Benyard was a good guy feel betrayed to say the least. And this woman chose to speak out to protect the public. I want to get the word out and let people know, um, you know, because he's not going to let you know. And the victim tells me that after she got her diagnosis, she reached out to the suspect's mother via Facebook, and the mother told her that her son had been infected for roughly 13 years. Reporting live from the Cincinnati Health Department, Angela Ingram, Local 12 News. Rob, back to you. Angela, thanks very much. If you can help police find Benyard, call Crime Stoppers, the number 352-3040.